hi guys hello hello welcome back to my channel boy that was quick oh my goodness i feel like i just put the stream up and i had 30 minutes and here we are and i'm probably late for work sorry can we talk about how absolutely delicious it smells in the reseller cottage tonight oh my goodness all this leather i feel like i'm in a leather shop all right, I'm going to play the trailer. I'll be right back. Let's get some notifications out there. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being here. Hi, welcome back. I'm cutting up some slips. I ran out of slips. Not enough hours in the day for everything. So I'm like working while the trailer is playing. How is everybody? Welcome, welcome. I hope everybody had a really good day. I, um, I had a good day. I had Dawn here all day today. We got a lot of shipping done. Um, still have quite a few to send out. We're working on it. We're getting caught up. When you go live every day, it's like constantly a uh, battle to get things um, to get things out. But, oh my gosh, you guys, look at what's behind me. Beautiful, beautiful. They're all leather. So I have to tell you, okay, I'm done cutting. Um, I think they're called American Western. So these came from... She was a, um, a, a, a project director for this company, and uh, these were her part of her personal collection. Most of them, like 99% of them, have never been used. They're brand new, um, and they're beautiful. And some of them were prototypes, which means they never went to production. They were just samples that they she helped to design um, along with the design team. So a lot of them are one of a kind originals, which is really, really awesome. So um, yeah, it's going to be kind of like a niche uh, event tonight, which I really don't like to do. Usually I like to... Um, bring an assortment of stuff, but tonight we're just going to sell pocketbooks. That's it. I'm not going to stay on for very long because like I said, I had a crazy run around um, looking forward to getting my stamps. I will watch for tracking. Okay, Clearwater. Um, me and folk aren't going to be happy. I know. Well, some men like, some men like pocketbooks. They like to gift them. 
you never know. I'll, I'll go back tomorrow. I'll go back to selling an assortment of different things. Um, I think tomorrow I'm going to have lots of toys. So I think some of the boys will be happy, but tonight, tonight we're just going to do purses. I'm going to do a quick hello to everybody. There's Carrie. Hello, Carrie, vintage chick. Welcome in Nance P and Don. There's a man folk. He's uh, a staple in our chat all the time. Tonya, hello, Francis, just Jackie, see me, Denise, welcome in everyone. Cece, Mary online. Hi, Mary, how are you? Desert Fairy, you guys are awesome. Look at you guys all strolling in. Don is reminding everyone to register. Thank you. Alicia, thank you for being here. Irene, thank you, thank you. Mom knows treasures. I got your email working on it. Let's see, who else, who else, who else? Thank you for sending me the email. I appreciate it, you guys. I appreciate those of you that send me email and text messages um, because my they kind of got flooded down from the holidays. So it's nice to have them back up. Hi, Andrea. On my way out, but stopped in to give you a thumbs up. Have a good night. Have fun tonight. Hi, Patricia. There's T. T talked briefly about maybe going on tomorrow morning. I don't know if she's made an absolute decision, but so be sure to be subscribed to T. She might go on tomorrow morning. You won't see me tomorrow morning. Um, she might be going on solo. I need to get my shipping done in the morning before the postman comes. I got, to be honest with you, I got kind of a late start this morning. Truth be told, I, I kind of slept in and then had to do some domestic housework stuff. So by the time I really started doing my shipping, the postman was like calling me and giving me a hard time that the, the bundles weren't outside. And I was like, Oh no, you're already here. He goes, yeah, I got a light load today. I was like, Oh crap. <laughs> I'm not ready for you. I'm like, take your time, go do the rest of the community and come back. He's like, okay, okay. <laughs> so I was able to get some out, but not as many as I would have liked. Hi, Cheryl. Good evening. Thank you for being here. Love, love the purses. So do I. I love them. The girls each picked out a, a purse and a wallet. They, um, they love them too. My daughter said, um, hi, Sherry, how are you? My daughter said that, um, that one is probably the most popular one on the wall. She said, cause that's like, that style is trending now. So that comes from a 19 year old, just saying, hi, Renee, how are you? The Follies are here. How are you, honey? Thank you for coming in. And let's see, I hope everyone is ready for an awesome 2023. I'm looking forward to it. Yay. Hi, Kat. Good speaking to you today. And Liz, hello, hello. Thank you for being here. Just toys and jewelry tomorrow for T. Okay. All right. T's got her menu up, what she's going to be selling. Awesome. All right, so um, if there's anybody new lurking in the background, be sure to let me know that you're here by saying hello. Let me know you filled out a, um, a registration. And if you did fill out the registration, um, just let me know so that we can take a look at it and give you a wrench. The wrench just gives you the power to bid. Hi, Cindy. Welcome in. Mary Seller. Thanks for the call today. Mary, it didn't go through. I just sent you an email. I saw your email and I sent you an email. You need to check the um, the phone number on the registration because I tried to call you and it didn't go through. So I don't know. I don't know what happened with that. But I just sent you an email with my question. Hi, Shannon. Um, sometimes when I'm shipping you guys, you know, if you see a number come up from a five, six, one area code, I don't know if my name comes up when you're, when I call you, but if you see a number from five, six, one area code, it's me, Mary, we talked today. Oh my goodness. When I was in the car. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. Okay. 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 Oh, Mary. Yes. With the two names. Okay. Got it. 
your name comes up for me on some phones it comes up and on some phone phones it doesn't yeah mary sorry i was driving and she heard the beeping my seatbelt wasn't on i was like taking a corner i'm on the phone with her the my my truck is going beep 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 turn put on your seatbelt. And she's like, what's that noise? I'm like, it's me. My seatbelt isn't on. I added you as a contact. Awesome. Thank you. Please do. Please do. Me, Auntie, you should have us in your contacts so that if there's any questions ever, best thing to do is call me no matter what. Donna, the purses have gone to your head. They literally have gone to my head, right? They literally have gone to my head. All right. I'm going to put my phone number in. So if you don't have it, screenshot it, you guys, and um, and keep it. Put it in your phone. Put me in your phone as your friend. Hey, Periwinkle Dreams. Welcome in. Welcome in, everybody that's strolling in. Hello, Gregory. How are you out on the boat enjoying yourself? Are you in a warm are you in a warm climate that you can be on a boat more often than just in the summertime? I hope so. <laughs> Hi Denise, how are you? There's teas, you guys. Make sure you screenshot that. I'm 561 and she's 516. So funny, right? Hey Steph, welcome in. All right, if I missed anybody, you guys, while you guys are strolling in. It's cold here. I'm in Florida too. Ah, I think I knew that, Gregory. I forgot. Yes, it's cold. Let's see. It's 66 degrees. Pink hat polish. I was thinking of you today. When I went to the storage unit, I know I have some more Hallmark ornaments. I just got to put my hands on it. And I've got a ton of wades. So the wades are no problem. It's the Hallmark um, ornaments. Donna, are there any known makers for these purses? Yes. The name of the company... Um, I started to say in the beginning of the show, the name of the company is called um, American Western. Okay, you guys can look it up on eBay, American Western. They range in price anywhere from like 30 to 300. Um, a lot of the purses that you see here were prototypes and they're one of a kind. Um, some of them were made, some of them were not made. So you may not find these because there are a lot of them are original. Um, Denise says, I'm in Florida too, and it was nice today. I was in all day today, so I, I think it may have gone up to the 70s. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So so this is what we're going to do, guys. We're going um, to sell these. If you see one that you like in the background and you want me to, as they say on whatnot, run it, I will. You just let me know. Um, I might just grab, um, I have a bin of them here also. I might just grab one out of a bin and I'm going to just, um, hey, C. Johnson, what did Christopher say? Oh my God, I found the Beatles White Album with the Butcher Paper Records in mint condition with poster and the 4-8 by 10 headshots of the Beatles inside. Oh my gosh, Christopher, isn't that like thousands of dollars? That's awesome, Christopher. That is awesome, awesome, awesome. That's a new one for me. I'm so excited to do some research. Wow, Christopher, you always seem to find these great deals. Honest to goodness, you are one lucky boy. No wonder why. He loves to go to the casino. Good for you, Christopher. What are you going to do with that? Are you going to hold on to it? Are you going to try to sell it? He can skip the poll for a week by finding that, right? See, Johnson? <laughs> Where did you come across that, Christopher? Estate sale. I don't know. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. I have one, but I don't know if it's the real thing. Remember that one that I found? I don't even know where it is. I think it's in the shipping table desk drawer. I'm not 100% so sure. Early estate sale. Ah, like if anyone ever told me in my barrier 
barrier days that I would know so much about purses, I would have fought. I pay $20 for early access. Oh, that's awesome. Mary says, T, I put you in my, my contacts. Awesome. I found a Michael Kors purse. That's awesome. Be careful because Michael Michael Kors is one of those purses. It's it's like Coach. It's one of the most copied purses. So make sure if if you bought it for personal use, who cares? But if you bought it for reselling, make sure that um, it's it's the real the real deal. For for some reason, Michael Kors is one of those purses that has um, they do a lot of um, knockoffs on. I spoke to T. T is feeling better. She's still a little nasally, but she's gonna um, try to come on tomorrow. I think that I think her cold has definitely um, made the corner, made the turn, as they say. And um, okay, guys, for those of you that are new, I don't see anybody new in the chat tonight. But if there's anybody that's new, um, American West Brand Clearwater, yes. AW American American West or American Western. Here, let's look and see. Let's grab this one and see what it says on it. American West here. So for those of you that are new, I'm gonna get right into it, guys. I know only 16 minutes into the show, and I'm already getting into it. American West. Okay is the name of it. And here is your first one. Um, a $40 purchase gives you free shipping. It can be combined with um, other purchases. It doesn't all have to be spent um, in one show. And everybody make sure, let me see, did I pin the registration? Yes, I did. Make sure that you are on live chat, not top chat. And the way you do that is you just go to the very top of the chat and click on the top chat arrow and the bar will drop down and it will be on live chat. Now, hi, Shannon. Welcome in. Let me know if you want to register. Oh, a new wall tonight. Hi, Nicole. Um, I think, I think, I think, I think that we might be doing these as soft clothes. Um, we'll see how it goes. I might do some as 15 second countdowns and I might do some as soft clothes. Soft clothes means they start at 30 and you bid in $2 increments up to 50. If it goes beyond 50, it's $5 increments. Um, and... Uh, let's see, Carrie, I'll let you know. I'm going to, hey, Craig, how are you, honey? I hope you're feeling well. Um, I'll let you know if I decide to do one as a 15-second um, countdown, but we're going to start off with just doing a soft close and see how it goes and see how, um, how we do with them, okay? So I hope you guys like Western purses. Western wear, Western purses. Um, so the first one I'm going to show you is, and they are all leather. This one here, and it's got the fringe on the sides. It's a very hippie, very groovy. I, I'm telling you this because um, I depend a lot on my daughter's opinions. My daughters thought that these were unbelievable. It's... Uh, they're very kind of hippie style. Um, I'm doing awesome. Thank you for asking. Absolutely. They have the rivets on the bottom, which is nice so that the leather doesn't sit. Um, and it smells unbelievable. And it's a $30 start. It's a $30 start. And I'll put it on this camera so you guys can take a peek at it and see how luxurious it is and how beautiful it is. It has all the different color leather. Now, this one is not hand-tooled, but it is the pebble leather, which is beautiful. Um, some of them are hand-tooled. And it has the American West logo right there. And... I'll show you the inside of it. I did put some bubble wrap in some of them. 
Sorry. There's the inside. It's kind of like tie dyed. And this little pocket has the zipper. The fabric is kind of like tie dyed to match the tie dye of the uh, pocketbook. It has the little fringe here. And there you have it. And this one is a $30 start. If you're interested in this one, it's got the adjustable strap. And the Follies come in at 30. And I love the different color leather on it. It's just so beautiful. And it has, this is, this is uh, the nature of the leather. It's not like it's marked or anything. Um, it's just the way it is. It's brand new. All right, and if there's no other interest, we're going to call it down to the Follies. If there's no other interest, 32 to is just Jackie. Thirty five to Sherry. It's beautiful, right? Oh, Anita. Hi, honey. These bags are so beautiful. You guys, Anita has a jewelry selling channel. I actually was on her channel the other night and I bought myself two gifts. <laughs> <laughs> two pieces of jewelry. So if um if you if you're not following Anita, please do. She's an old old friend of the channel. She's an old old friend of the channel. Castaway girl is at 37. And just Jackie is out. And the Follies went to 40. Don't forget this is free shipping. And it is so beautiful. So beautiful. Any messenger bags? Well, they're all female, but I do have a couple of bags that can be like um, for computers. Oh, wait until you smell them. They smell amazing. The leather is just so gorgeous. And Castaway Girl is out. And C. Johnson just subscribed to you, Anita. Thank you, C. Johnson. And Sherry is out. All right. We're going to start calling it down. We're going to go once. We're going to go twice. And Tonya comes in at 41. Thank you, Tonya. And Mel comes in at 45. It's really beautiful. And I'll give you another peek at it here. And Follies is out. Look at that. Just beautiful. Tonya is out, Follies is out, Mel is at 45, and we're going to start counting it down again. We are going to go once, right, Moses? We're going to go twice, and bear warning, everyone. And we're going to be sold, sold, sold to Mel for $40. Thank you, Mel. Lot number one goes to Mel. All right. Yes, thank you, Mel. Thank you so much. All right. How about if we do... I'm going to do this one here, which is amazing. Let me just put this here for a minute. Look at this one. 
Look at how beautiful this is. Hold on one second. So this has, oops, do the burgundy one. Oops, let me just do this. Okay. So this one is all hand tooled and it has, it's kind of like a red raspberry. It looks like red on the camera, but to me it almost looks, yeah, I guess, it, I guess you could say it's red and it has the nails on the bottom, the studs. It has the beautiful hardware on it, and I'll show you the inside of it. Look how beautiful that is. Hi, LA Thrifter. So it's very beautiful. It has um, several pockets and compartments. It has here, let me show you on this camera. Um, so it has, it has this that keeps this leather strap. You snap that in. Okay. And it has that pocket and then it has these several pockets here as well. And let me show you the work on that. They're American West is the name on them. American West. Let's see if this one has American West written on it. Some of these are prototypes, guys. So it has it has um it has the American West lining, but I don't see the actual name on this one. Well, it doesn't have the actual name anywhere that I see it. So maybe because um, maybe this one was never actually produced. They may have not produced this one. All right. And there you have it. So I'm going to put this back in here. And this is a large bag. Put it on the screen. Oh, it has what's nice. It's beautiful embossed. Yeah, they call it hand tooled. And this one has a pocket here in the front that's, um, you know, like a snapped pocket, which is beautiful also. Very nice. And it's a big purse. Definitely big enough to carry even a computer, a laptop. And we're at 50 for this beautiful one. Vintage Chick, let me know if you want to come in at 55. If not, we'll call it down to Denise. American West. Hey, J. Spieth. Welcome in. Vintage Chick is at 60. Thank you. So beautiful. True craftsmanship. Denise is out. Hi, Maddie. Hi, Heather. How are you, honey? Um... I'm not going to be doing, um, I'm not going to be doing, um, 15 second countdowns tonight. So I'm just going to call it, but thank you, Heather. If I decide to do a 15 second countdown, I'll, 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 uh, I'll let you know, 
but thank you. We're going once, we're going twice. And a fair warning if everybody's done and done. And the high bidder is Vintage Chick. And we're going to be sold, sold, sold on this one. Okay, just got home from work. How are you feeling? I hope you're feeling better. All right, and we're sold. We're sold, sold, sold on this one to Vintage Chick. Lot number two for $60. Guys, let me know in the chat where you grew up. Where I grew up, they called them pocketbooks. But some people are like, what's a pocketbook? Some people call them handbags or purses. I grew up calling them pocketbooks. <laughs> let me know what you guys call them. <laughs> Isn't it? And the color, right, Moses? It's so beautiful. All right, so that's number two, gone. All right, let's see. How about if we do, they're all so beautiful. This one's amazing. Let's do this one next. This one is, the front of it is um, cow, right? It's dyed cow, isn't it? The fur. And let's take a look at it on the other camera. We'll look at it closely. You call it purse, pocketbooks. Let's see. Francine's from the north, pocketbooks, purse, purses. Hey, KK. PA's purses. Yeah, we called them pocketbooks. See, Heidi's from the north. She calls it pocketbooks. So this is actual fur on this one. And it has the rivets on the bottom. This is just because there was probably a buckle or something laying up against it. And I'm sure it will relax. And it has the rivets. Denise is from Florida. We call them purses. Melissa from, from Massachusetts. She calls them, she calls them um, pocketbooks. See, it's a, it's a northern thing to call them pocketbooks. There's American West. Melissa, how's that beautiful little Denali girl? How's the how's my baby doing? You'll have to send me lots of pictures. I want to watch her grow. I want to watch her grow. Melissa's son had a little baby girl and they named her Denali. It's genuine leather and nice big huge inside. And this is the lining on this one. So they used different linings. And you can see the quality of the stitching. It's like a coach. Absolutely beautiful. Perfection. And the strap. It still has the tag. Probably fell off in the tub. But um, it has all this awesome stud work all the way around it and that would be my close-up and now let me show you the actual purse which is really beautiful and it's nice and big also it's like um kind of a hobo style would you say a little bit of a hobo style it's beautiful we're at 38 with tonya beautiful and it smells luxurious there's nothing like the smell of fine leather it smells so good I marked that last purse let me see here vintage check for 60. All right. Hi, Dora. How are you, honey? All right. Is there no other interest? We can call it down. If there's no other interest, we can start going. We're going to go once. 
and the high bidder on this one is the Follies for 40 and we're going to go twice. And with a fair warning, everyone, this beautiful purse is going to be sold, sold, sold to the Follies for $40. Thank you, Renee. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And that is lot number three. She's like, yay. Do you love the the, uh, the cowhide front? This one's beautiful. This one I actually debated on a little bit because it's gorgeous. It's got the cow. It's got the cow. It's really uh, elegant. Thank you, Anita. Um, and it's all hand tooled. And I'll show you a close up of it. It's a nice, nice size for either a shoulder or a crossbody. It's got a nice big extension on it. And then it has this little American West little heart on it. And look at how pretty that is. It's all hand tooled. Isn't it beautiful? It's all made by hand, one at a time. All of these purses, all hand tooled. I can't say that enough. It's so beautiful. And it is. I'll give you a measurement on it so you have an idea and then we'll peek inside it's nine inches across by six and a half inches wide And there's the inside of it. It's beautiful. And we've got Carrie at 45. Antonia's at 48. And this is lot number four. Carrie's at 50. Hey, Latin nerd, welcome in. We're showing purses tonight. It's kind of like a niche, a uh, little maybe one-off, or I don't know. I know that some of these purses are have really high ticket prices on eBay because I did look them up. Hi, Francine. How are you? Um, so, so happy to be back to shop here. Where were you, KK? You you've you've been here, haven't you? Is everything okay? All right, we're gonna start calling it down for this sweet little purse. If there's no other interest. And we are gonna go once.
Oh, huh. That's weird. My mic became unplugged. Can you hear me now, you guys? You can hear me? Yeah, I know. I went muted. I don't know why. All right. And we're going to be sold. We're going to be sold, sold, sold. You can hear me? Okay, good. Hi, Mr. Tasman. And let's see. The high bidder was... Tonya for 55. Thank you, Tonya. All right. And there goes that one. Tonya H. All right. That was number four. Let's do this one for number five. Look at how beautiful this one is. It's gorgeous. The leaves on it are absolutely beautiful. Uh, let me get rid of this. Ozma, did you bring a note? Like Carrie says, hey, Cheval. Look at this one. All hand done. Isn't that amazing? Some people are so talented. American West. Oh, this one has... Not all of them have the dust covers, but this one does. It says leather for lifetime. I think it's just tissue. I don't think there's anything else in there. And this is what the inside of it looks like. Pretty, pretty, pretty. down for just one minute and like I said some of you that are coming in some of these were prototypes and they were never um, actually made they were prototypes for the company some of them didn't make it to production and carries at 45 What was Osmo I was supporting other excellent content creators? Oh, <laughs> you go, Osmo. Thank you for doing that. I have one in caramel color. The more I wear it, the better the color looks, and the leather is so high quality and nice. Thank you, Anita. Thank you for the testimonial on that. Yes, the leather is beautiful. All right, if everybody's done and done, we're going to call it. We're going to go once. It looks like Carrie has it for 45. Anybody wants to come in at 47 would be the next bid. If not, we're going to go twice. Mel says, I'm excited for mine. And I saw that there was J Ski, are you out? We're at fair warning. And we are going to be sold, sold, sold to Carrie for $45. Thank you, Carrie. And Carrie has cottage cash. And that is lot number five. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you so much. It's beautiful. You're going to love it. All right. 
This one is another amazing one. Look at this one. The work on this is crazy beautiful. <laughs> right, Lynn? I have no idea what she meant when she said that. I just kind of went with it. I, I didn't even say it because... Um, okay, Tonya, thank you. Because um, I was surprised. I was I was afraid I was going to mispronounce it. I didn't know what she was saying. Look at this one. This one's beautiful too. That's the front. There's the back. There's the bottom. <laughs> yep, I have some wallets. I'll do some wallets too. And I'll give you a close up of it. And there it is. Oh, Osmo was hoeing. Got it. There's the corners. And there's the side. And let's peek inside. And see how beautiful it is. And it smells so good. So you've got a bunch of compartments on this side. You've got a zippered compartment there. And there is your genuine leather. And... See, Moses is saying, well, because Moses works with leather, he knows he knows how much work went into this. And there's that nice big compartment there. And there you have it. beautiful Anita comes in at 55 thank you Anita KK was at 49 KK is out right Moses beautiful all right I don't know if there was anybody else bidding we're gonna start calling it down we're going to start going once. Got a high bid of 55 on the board. And we're going to go twice. Oh, uh, thank you, Moses. And a fair warning. It's, uh, it's a lot of work, honey, believe me. It's a lot of work and determination and a lot of lot, lot of stuff going behind the scenes, you know, when when I'm not. Thank you, Anita. Congratulations, honey. Thank you so much. All right, Ozma. Can't give away all my secrets. Ozma. Can't give away all my secrets. Just some. Just some secrets. I do some content, but not a lot. All right. So this one is going to Miss Anita. You guys, if you're not subscribed to Anita, please go and subscribe to my friend Anita. She's awesome. And she has a very relaxing, nice auction on her channel. You almost feel like you're like sitting on the couch with her having a cup of coffee. It's nice and calm, and relaxing, and she makes you feel so welcome. And she addresses like everything in the chat. And yeah, she's, uh, she's a great channel to follow. All right. So let's do that. And let me just put this right over here. Here is another spectacular one. This one, um, 
This one is a brown, it's got brown cow in the front. Honestly, like, I probably should have listed these myself because they're so beautiful. But, oh, and this one has, this one actually still has the tag on it. Okay, Tanya, I will do my best to do that. Um, and leather for a lifetime, handmade one at a time, it says. 100% genuine leather. And there you have it. It's fur on that side. And then it has your rivets and your beautiful stitching and look at this handle the handle is all hand tooled look so if i can get the light on it isn't that beautiful absolutely beautiful and let's look inside nice big compartment with the zipper And that's a nice big one. Let me show you on camera how big it is. It's a nice big purse. And it's, you guys, it's, it, they're folded because they were in um, totes. So they just need to relax. The leather on them just needs to relax. So I would probably, you know, just put something in them so that, um, it can relax for you, but obviously it's never been used because it still has the tag on it. And I don't know if you can find comps on it because like I said, some of these did not go to production. So, and then there's all the hand tooling. Okay, Tonya. All the way up the side of it. It's beautiful. And the leather is very luxurious on it. Thank you everyone for subbing to Anita. Let me just put this down a little bit so that you can see it. And it looks like carries at 32. If there's no other interest, we're gonna start calling this one down. This is lot number seven. Ozma comes in at 40. Don't know. Do I have cottage cash left? Not sure myself. I don't know, honey. I, I, I wouldn't be able to. I wouldn't know that unless I looked. Um, look in your email. I always send updated um, emails with if you have cottage cash. Ozma is out. Jayski is at 50 and carries out. And we're going to go once. We're going to go, I can't even relax. And now you want me to get my purse to relax. You want me to get my purse to relax. <laughs> What's the matter, shiny? <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand what shiny's saying. What is she saying? We're going twice. Vintage chick got it. She's laughing. Fair warning. What do you mean I want you to get your purse? <laughs> And we're going to be sold, sold, sold to Jayski for 50. What is she? I don't understand. Now Anita's laughing. I don't understand. Wait, I can't even relax. And now you want me to get my purse to relax. <laughs> you said the letter, le you said the leather was folded on the purse. You said the leather was folded on the purse. You said we need a fold to relax. You said the purses would relax. Oh, I can't even relax. Oh, I get it now. Sorry, it took me a minute. 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it took me a minute. All right. Congratulations, Jay Ski. <laughs> All right, Jayski gets lot number seven for $50. All right. Long views. <laughs> oh my gosh. I had I I I had no idea what she meant. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> it does need to relax. Oh my gosh, and it smells so good. Jayski, wait until you smell this purse it smells like you guys remember the wilson leather stores that they used to have in the mall and you walked in and all that unbelievable leather smell that's what it smells like in here right now with all this leather around me it's amazing all right i'm gonna do this one next that's that's an unbelievable one do you know how hard it is for me to sell this purse there's one of them that has a damage on bottom, and I don't know if it was this one, but I didn't care. I still loved it. This is crazy beautiful, and this is definitely big enough for a laptop, which is why I was thinking about keeping it, because, you know, when I go back and forth to the storage unit, I thought, oh, my God, what a beautiful, luxurious way to carry a laptop because my laptop case is like nylon you know it's like nothing special it's just a nylon case and um oh my gosh it's so beautiful you guys it's so beautiful look at this and these are all pockets and then it's got a zippered pocket in the back Ding, ding, ding. Thank you, Vintage Chick. And then it has the rivets. And then it has the side pockets, which is really nice because you can put like a water bottle in there. It's really beautiful. I'll give you, I'll give you a um, up-close look to it. Show you how gorgeous it is. Look at that. Oh, you have a Wilson leather for you, for your laptop. It almost looks like a Brighton piece, doesn't it? And let's see if it says, oh, here's, this is where it says American Western right there. And there's the inside. says oh hmm. there it is that's what I was looking for genuine leather Is somebody putting comps in the chat? Periwinkle dreams, no comps in the chat. American West person would go for a hundred to three hundred. Oh, all right. I think we're gonna be going once, and going twice. I don't think we. Pro I probably didn't say no comps in the chat. That's all right. Periwinkle dreams. I don't think I, I said that, but we don't like to put comps um, um, in, in the high Pam. We don't like to put comps in the chat because some people I'm going to, I'm going to say why some people buy for reselling. Okay. That's my channel. It's a reselling channel, but every once in a while, like a night, like tonight, I do one offs and people buy them for personal use. So it's something like, you know, I like to say sometimes people buy things just to support me and my channel and my family and the reseller cottage. And, you know, if someone, if something like this maybe is selling for a hundred dollars on eBay, 
instead of buying it from a stranger on eBay, they're, they'll pay a hundred and I, I give you cottage cash for free. So why wouldn't you support me back and maybe buy something that is, you know, maybe $10 more. I don't know what that purse goes for on eBay. I, I have no idea. Yes. And I also have free shipping. Exactly. So, you know, it's like, it's like, I always talk about how I support, you know, I like to su support small businesses. Did I sell this yet? No, let me sell it. And we're sold. We're sold, sold, sold to vintage chick. I think, is that who got it? Um, so, yeah, I mean, sometimes I'll sell a lot and people will turn around and it will be worth, you know, a ton of, a ton of money. And then other times, yeah, Vintage Check got it for 120 All right, 120 to Vintage Check. So, yeah, people buy for different reasons. I mean, there's some people on here that are not even resellers. They just like to come on and they like to um, just support me and support the channel. Your lives always makes me happy. Thank you, honey. Don't feel bad. You're fine. Don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. But I just kind of like wanted to explain that. Um, and that's why a lot of the times we don't allow comps in the chat because also like, I don't like the, I don't like the person who's buying it to feel bad and be like, Oh really? It only sells, you know, on eBay for a hundred and I just paid 150 from Donna, you know? So I don't want the buyers to feel bad either. It's okay. You didn't know, honey. You didn't know. Okay. Here's another awesome one. This one, nope, this has got some damage on the bottom, so I will keep that one. Let's do this one. I found another one of these here. I don't know which one I saw had damage on the bottom too, but I didn't care because it looks so beautiful. I don't remember which one it was, but um this one is another really pretty one. The color is a little odd. I don't know what you call this color. You call it the color of my turntable color. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you call this color. Um, but let's look at it up closely. I'm going to look at it on camera. Is the stream blurry? Kudos. I've been, it's taupe. Thank you. I've been with you since the beginning, have yet to buy from you, but I love coming on here. Even if you just chat or listen one day, I'm going to buy something. Oh, Mr. Tasman, you're so sweet. You're so nice. It was such a pleasure to meet you. Thanks, Mr. Tasman. You're awesome. Mushroom. I like that color name. I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay, let's look at it up close. It's got that awesome buckle on it. And does it open? Yep, it opens and it has this big pocket in the front. And look at the work on this. Right? It's beautiful. And let's look inside. And there you have it. Another beautiful one. Let me pull this up. Definitely has a vintage vibe. It's a big one. Here, I'll show you again on camera how big it is. See? <sighs> Can't get enough of that smell. Does everybody else love leather smell like I do? Oh, and it's got these pockets on the back that I didn't even see. 
that goes all the way through. So I don't know what you would use that for. It's got pockets in the back that goes all, all the way through. And there's your American West. Desert Sand. Oh, yeah. Kudos. That's a good name, too. All right. We're at 30 on this one. Conceal. Oh, LaDonna. Yeah, it's for your weapon. Oh, my goodness, you guys. That's right. Wow. Oh, look at this. Look at this purse. I didn't know what this was. They just told me. This is, see these side pockets in the back Wait, of this hold on. purse? Hold on. It's, a con it's a concealed weapon purse, like to carry, like, see this? It's to put a gun in here. Oh, really? So that, see, so, so it's not like inside your purse, so you can just access it from the back. Oh. Isn't that so cool? All right, Liz is at 35. It's for Pew Pew. Hi, Tony. Tony, I have these beautiful bags tonight. I learned so much from Donatella about a lot of things, from opening a box to what it what a style of story. Storyline, always amazing. Oh, Moses, you're a sweetheart. I have one that has those zippers. Do you? Concealed bags bring in money. Sometimes there's Velcro in the pocket for your holster. Oh, Castaway Girls at 37 on this pretty one. And I'm going to go grab another one while you guys are deciding. All right. Anybody else? So should we start calling it down? Is everybody done? Liz is at 40. I made my first sale on Donna's channel. Awesome. And we carry in the American East too. Right? God, this one's gorgeous too. Oh, beautiful. Sherry comes in at 45. My guns are in my husband's shirt sleeves. <laughs> right? Shiny. It's true. <laughs> Liz is out. And we're going to start calling it down. How do I get tickets to that gun show? <laughs> Beverly Tess, I'm not really a purse lover, but leather purses are different to me. The ones you have tonight are works of art. Thank you, Beverly. I'd love to see the cactus bag. Okay, I'll do it for sure. We're going twice. We're going to clear that wall tonight. And with a fair warning, because, you know, tomorrow I have to put up a new wall. Right? That's my new stress of the day. What should I get to put on the wall? Oops. Sherry came in at 47. I'm going to retract that sold, guys. It's not sold because this is a soft close. I didn't know that Sherry did not. Um, it is still up for grabs. And we have a high bid of $47. Castaway comes in at 49. Thank you, Castaway. Donna, there is a red purse on the shelf over your right shoulder. Could you show that one soon? Yes. Over my right shoulder. I don't see a red purse. Maybe this one you see in is red. That's a that's a brown. I have some wallets too. I'm gonna do. Sherry is out. Castaway girl is at 49. Thank you, everyone, for your bids. Donatella is living, is living Kansas left overture. Donatella is living Kansas left overture with a smiling face. 
Pam. I don't know what that means either. <laughs> Pam. I don't know what that means. Behind the red one with the cross. Behind the red one with the cross. There's a red purse. Oh, that one? It's brown. Looks red. Wait a minute, cactus kidding. Okay, I don't either. Oh, thank goodness, Osmo. What is she talking about? The main song is the wall. Um, did I sell this yet? I'm so I'm lost. Wait, going once. All right, we're going twice. I don't even know who the high bidder is. You guys are confusing me tonight. Wait, I gotta see what Chinese said. I can't translate that one either. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Donna, we need to have a poor reseller's night. Oh, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, resell and donkey yells. You're late. Pink Floyd, the wall. Pink Floyd. Is, is it a song to the, I don't, I don't. I, I probably know the song if I hear it. All right, we're going to be sold. And I don't know who we're sold to. Who are we sold to? Castaway for $49? Well, at least Dawn's keeping track and keep paying attention. Is that who got it? Oh, my God. The Wall, Pink Floyd. But I made it. Thank you. It's Kansas Osmo. The song, The Wall. But what was she doing? Why was she writing that? Because of my wall? Did it sell for $49? Is that what you said, John, to Castaway? Wait a minute. Yeah, there it is. Castaway, $49. Lot number nine. Purse, Castaway. For $49. You guys are confusing the heck out of me tonight. With all your little comments. I'm trying to read them. I'm curious about that white one behind you. I don't have a white one. <laughs> that is a vase. Is that the one that you're curious about? Oh, okay. Vintage chick. I'll listen to it later. <laughs> she sent me the... She sent me the YouTube video to the song. All right. Hold on. Let me just keep this straight because I don't want to have to be watching videos tomorrow. All right. Vintage Chick. No, not Vintage Chick. Cast Away. See? I almost made a mistake. Cast Away. $49. Lot number nine for the purse. Hi, Michelle O. <laughs> Stop confusing me, people. Sorry, I'm old rock. So am I. I listen to 70s rock all day long. Actually, so do my kids. Okay. All right, guys. Be patient with me. Be patient with me. This one's awesome. You ready for another awesome one? It's got the long body strap. And then it also has... Oh, here, let me put, let me get the wall of 79. It is the best music. I will copy the last. Oh, okay. All right. So look at. It's got cow in the front. There's a moth in here. Where did it go? It was tiny. Hmm. It's got... Did you watch videos to see what I have gotten from the 8th? So sorry. No, I haven't. Not yet. I had a crazy day. But I will. I'll go back and watch. I don't know. I, I have it written down. I don't think I have to. I guess no <laughs> Who keeps texting me? Oh, it's Vintage Chick again. Okay, so... Look at how beautiful, and it's all hand-tooled in the back, and it has the big crossbody, and it has the, 
You can wear it like this also. <sighs> all right. Let me show it to you now. Just put all the fringe purses in a box and send them to me and bill me later, <laughs> Irene. All right. I'm going to get to them. I'm going to get to them. All right. So here is, this is the back. And it, it has it even on here. Pam, now you're texting me? You peeps got to stop. Hold on. Let me see. Oh, she, Kansas, the wall lyrics. I am woven in a fantasy. I can't believe the things I see. The path that I have chosen now has led me to a wall. And with each passing day, I feel a little more like something dear was lost. It rises now before me. A dark, all right, I will listen to it later. I'm sure I've heard it before. Okay. It has the studs on the bottom. And then it has the cowhide in the front and all of this crazy, beautiful studded work on it. And let's look inside. It's like opening a gift because you don't know what's inside. One of these days I'm going to open something on camera and something's going to jump out. So this one must have been a prototype because it doesn't say, oh, does it? Oh, maybe it does. Hold on. Let me open this up and hold it up. It does say it. American West Genuine Leather. It's very faint, but it's there. And that's how pretty the inside is. And that's how pretty the outside is. I love these um, cowhide ones. And there's the studs. Copper and gold and silver. Silver and gold. Silver and gold. Beautiful. Okay. And there you have it. Big meanie. Who's a big meanie, April? Who's who's being a big meanie to April? Spiders are scary, Lynn. Watch out for the spider to jump out. Everyone, don't forget to buy Mega Millions and dream a little. Oh, is it really big again? Snakes hide inside leather. Um, I'm that so beautiful too. You're so beautiful too. Tear down the wall, tear down the wall. Oops, I mean sell the wall. <laughs> Denise is at 55. Donna doesn't read emails. I do too read emails. I read all my emails. You gotta send them to auctions by Donna. Wait. Um, hold on. Sorry. My sister and I are feuding in your chat. Oh, <laughs> I meant the purse is beautiful. It's 640 million mega. Oh gosh. Is Liz lagging? Do we have Denise at 55 on this one? I think so. Can someone, can someone tell Liz that she's lagging? Please. Oh, Patricia, you're April's big sister. I love that it's a it's a family affair. It's a family affair. Right? You're welcome. Now you have that song stuck in your head. Francine comes in at 60. Francine likes the studded one. Francine, I didn't I didn't take you as a studded kind of girl. <laughs> okay, thanks, Liz. Oh, April wants her to buy her a purse. <laughs> Tara. That's the song of the night. <laughs> Francine, studs, 
I'm going to be calm. I'm going to be making a phone call after I get off live. I think Uncle David needs it. <laughs> I think Uncle David needs to know a little something more about my French Francine. <laughs> I'm going to fix those two up if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> it was so funny that Uncle David was asking about Francine on Christmas Day <laughs> when we were talking to wish my mother-in-law and Uncle David a Merry Christmas. Uncle David brings up Francine. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, Francine. He did. You were part of our conversation on Christmas Day. It was like you were there, but you really weren't there. <laughs> Asking me all about you. So funny. True story. <laughs> There'll be no joy in the reseller cottage. They're laughing again. I feel like I live in a nut house. Uncle David has has to be much older than Francine. I don't know how old Francine is, but um, Uncle David is, let's see, I'm 58. My husband's three years younger than me, so that makes him, um, quick math, that makes him 55. Uncle David is 54. He's a year younger. They're like... They're like Massimo and Denali. I think they're like 14 months apart or 13 months apart, something like that. Yeah, he's just a year younger. And he's awesome. Uncle David's awesome. He's he's so excited for me to come back up to Maine um, in June. I love spending time with family. We had such a good time when we were up there. Going once, and he's coming down here actually in February. He's coming down with the kids. I'm older too old for him. I don't know about that. Noel, hi, honey. Denise has the high bit of 65. Thank you. Thank you for paying attention. Going twice. A fair warning, everyone, for this beautiful bag. And we're going to be sold, sold, sold. Wait, I need an out. Do we have an out from everybody? All right. This is lot number. It's lot number 10, right? Yeah. Lot number 10. The purse. 1228. And this one went to Denise. Francine, younger men are easier to manage. <laughs> Pam, Pam, how do you know? <laughs> All right, Denise. Willand, Willand, is that how you say your name? Willand, did I say that right? I was just talking about Maine today to go up and get an awesome lobster bake. We'll wait until June when I'm up there. Because I'm definitely going to be up there. Hoping to leave like the last week in May and spend the whole month of June up there. Sourcing and selling. It'll be a working vacation. I can't wait. I love it up there. Good question, Carrie. Oh, it's Wyland. Ah, oh, Wyland. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for doing that phonically for me. That makes life easier. Okay, let's do this little fringy baby. It's cute. It's little. Angelina had her eyes on this one. Uh, lot number, please. Um, this one is lot number 10. No. This one, wait a minute, Denise got this one. I marked the purse, but I didn't put it down. This one's lot number 11. Wait, how much was Denise's? I gotta go look. I wrote it on the sheet. I just didn't write it on my notes. This one is $65 to Denise. All right. All right, $65 to Denise. 
And then, so this next one is lot number 11. Right? We're good. Yes. Cutesy, cutesy, fringy, fringy. It's all hand tooled in the back. I'll show it to you up close. Here, this is how long the strap is. So it's a crossbody. And um There's the front of it. And the fringe hangs way past the purse. There's the back of it, all hand tooled. Yes, it's tiny. It's big enough for a wallet and a phone. Maybe your keys. Donna's birthday is May. Who, Nance, did someone ask for my birthday? I'm May, my husband's May, my mother-in-law is May, Denali is May. We have a lot of May, um, we have a lot of May birthdays, a lot of them. Tonya is at 20, and I'll give you the measurements on it. It is, yeah, my daughters loved it shiny. They debated over this one and the ones that they kept. Um... It is six inches by eight and a half. <laughs> six by eight and a half. Oh, Noel, May 12th. Denali's May 23rd. My husband's May 11th. I'm May 14th. T's birthday's in May too. It's pretty. Okay. If everybody's done with this one, Castaway Girls at 32. And let's see here. I'm looking for my pen. Strap has a adjustable buckle. Strap does not have an adjustable buckle. No, it does not. It's solid. It's just a solid strap. No adjustable buckle. Oh, Lynn, I, I feel like all my best friends are cancer. Oh, my birthday falls on Mother's Day a lot. It does. All right, if everybody's done, we're going to go once. Let me see who's got the high bid on this one. Castaway Girl at 32. We're going to go twice. I don't know if my daughters would use it. Katie would wear anything. Molly Ringwald wore in pretty and pink. Emily is more dark. Uh, oh, are you, Heather? You're a cancer, too? Oh, uh, KK, you are, too? I don't know. I guess I'm drawn to cancers for some reason. And fair warning... And we're going to be sold, 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 sold to Castaway Girl for $32. Now who's texting me? Can't text me during the auction. I can't show things, write things down. Purse, Castaway Girl, 32. Because I have to write it on my sheet and then I have to write it on the paper that goes with the item. Cast away. And it's lot number 11, $32 for a purse. All right, let me see who's texting me now. Oh, it's somebody who wants to receive text alerts. I need an assistant. Yeah, it's nice when I have someone here assisting me. The girls really don't like to do it. Hi, Carol. 
Welcome in. I just did my registration. Thank you, Shannon. Sorry, I didn't mean to yell at you. Hi, Lindsay. I'm a nutty Gemini. Oh, Cheryl, we have, we have the same birthday, first day of the summer. Oh, Francine. I'm June 1st, the start of hurricane season. Great, Mr. Taz, ma'am. No texting Donna during the auction. She's drunk and can't multitask. I am multitasking for sure. My granddaughter, same birthday as you. 11 11 at 11 11 p.m. as you at 11 11 p.m. I don't know what that means. It's not 11 11, is it? I knew there was a reason I liked you, Carrie. It's the longest day of the year. Oh, um, okay, hold on. So we're on lot number 12. Okay, let's do a wallet. Let's do this wallet. Let me put this here. Now who's texting me? Am I the only Leo here? Oh, no, it was it was because I didn't open it up. It's Shannon again. Shannon, it's just you texting me. All right. This is a really beautiful wallet. I'll show it to you. It's so pretty. Look at that. It's beautiful. That's okay, Shannon. You don't have to apologize. You're good, sweetheart. I appreciate you texting me. All right. And there you have it. It's gorgeous. And it's nice because if you have a lot of things in it, it's got that double um, snap. So if you only carry a few things or if you carry... Um, <laughs> Patricia says, guess what month April was born in? <laughs> I bet you she was born in April. <laughs> oh, and it's got a back zipper. For your change. That wallet would last forever. I'm going to tell you guys a story. It's a really sad story. It's a really, really sad story. So during 9-11, when um, they were trying to recover um, people's like IDs and stuff, the only people they were able to recover wallets with their IDs in them and pictures and driver's licenses and stuff were people that had leather wallets. Because leather and being the wife of a welder, I can tell you like welders, they wear leather armor when they're welding because leather doesn't burn. Yeah, leather doesn't burn. So all the people that had leather pocketbooks and leather wallets, they were able to recover their IDs and like return them back to the families and stuff. Isn't that so sad? from 9-11, you know, they found all the leather because, oh, this smells so good. When you get this, you're just gonna sit there and inhale it. I don't know why some leather smells really good. Donna, that's true, my dad was a welder, yeah. Yep, that's what Ricky would wear, leather, leather um big leather um like gloves and then he had like a leather like uh welders like jacket type of cover-up thing that he would wear it would like snap in the back and then leather for pants uh like chaps like leather chaps yeah hey kf stop i can't wait to smell <laughs> it smells so good 
I'm going to take all the smell out of it before it comes to you. I am, I am, I am high on leather tonight. It's so good. It's the tanning process that makes them smell so good. Oh, I know, Francine. Donna's leaving DNA for free. Sorry, my nose is on it. I'm afraid. I'm afraid of that. What, that I'm taking all the leather smell away from it? I can't take all the leather smell away from it. Don't be silly. Is that what you're saying? You're not supposed to use your own product. What? I'm just smelling it, Peter. I'm not using it. I'm not using it. Not like I'm wearing it. I'm just smelling it. I get wax melts that are warm leather and amber. Smells like a smoking hot man. Shiny. <laughs> no, but you know how they have that kind of new car smell? You know how they have like the little hangy thing, the new car smell? That's kind of hay swamp. That's kind of like leather smell too. Like when you get into a car and it has a leather interior and you can smell the leather in the car. Oh my God, doesn't that, doesn't that smell just heavenly? Is there anybody in the chat that doesn't like leather smell? I love leather smell. It's so good. Okay, we're going to close this down. Are we done? Are we done with this before I take all the smell from it? And then I'll be getting a complaint. I got my wallet and you stole all the money. <laughs> I got my wallet and it didn't smell like leather. And I have proof of you live sniffing it and stealing all the leather smell from it. It could happen, you know. <laughs> I am, Francis. I am. It could happen. I could get that complaint. I've gotten some, I've gotten some, I've gotten some complaints. <laughs> Let's just say. <laughs> puppy breath is this is the best. <laughs> I loved puppy. I love when, when Gypsy had puppy breath. And I love baby smell too. I love that baby smell. Oh. I was a welder for years and then was a welder inspector as well as a LUL level two ultrasonic radiographer. I traveled during inspections and worked in a steel mill doing welding inspection for three years. Well, you go, girl. <laughs> Holy crap, Noel. That's like a mouthful. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, note to self and to everybody else, don't mess with Noel, <laughs> just saying. Oh, wait, um, it's at Pink Hat. Oh, Pink Hat's at 30. It sounds real serious, doesn't it? She is shiny. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sherry's at 32. All right. They all want they all want the leather smell. One more one more sniff. I think I'm a little bit high from the smell, to be honest with you. I'm like surrounded by it. Can you can someone Google can you get high off of leather smell? I don't think so because then all the people that worked at, um, uh, thank you, Mr. Taz, man, it's 1111. Thank you, honey. All the people that worked at Wilson's Leather would have been high all the time. So I don't think you can actually get high off of leather smell. But I feel a little bit like, you know, a little bit out there. All right, am I going to close this? Pink Cat is at 34. Are we done? Time is running away from me right now. Let me take a sip of water. 
just to be on the safe side. That must have been awesome. And now maybe, Donna, you're a little loopy tonight. I am, Heather. I don't know why. Oh, thank you, Ed. Any black wallets? I don't know. I'll have to look. I know, right? April, didn't you love going into that store? Loved that store. Okay, did I say going twice yet? Pink Cat's going to be like, Donna, shush. And just close it. For goodness sakes. Good morning. Was everybody done and done? Because we're selling it. Pink Cat's got it. Pink Cat, congratulations. And she got it for, was it 32? Or 34? Is anybody paying attention in the chat? Because I'm not. 34. $34 for the wallet. Pink Cat, that's a beautiful wallet for $34. You go, girl. All right. 34 for the wallet. Any black wallets? I don't know if I have a black wallet. I don't, don't see one. I'll go look in the bin. I don't see one. Let's do one of these cap cactus ones. Let's see. Let's do this one. It's really pretty. It's got a flat bottom. Oh, let me take the banner down. All right, I'll do that one too. Tandy leather. I don't remember Tandy leather. Maybe it wasn't like a Northeast thing. So that's the front. This is the back. There's the bottom. And I'll give you a close up of it. So you can see it up close and personal. That is all hand tooled and dyed. Is that awesome? There's the inside. And there's American West Genuine Leather, right, Osmo? Perfect for the Texan people in the chat. So pretty. That's a pretty, pretty, pretty one. I'm going to go fill up my water while you guys look at that and decide if you want it. We'll be right back. All right, I'm back. No interest in this one? It's 
Should we pass on it? Did anybody bid on it? Oh, Anita likes it. Oh, Sherry liked it too. All right. I think we're at 35. Beautiful. All right. Bali is out. And we're going to sell this one to Miss Anita. We're going to go once. And we're going to go twice. And thank you, Sherry. And fair warning. We're going to be sold, sold, sold to Miss Anita. Thank you, Anita. For $35. All right. Anita, I was thinking of you the other night. You know what I, what I was selling? Um, I was selling, Donna, please, the red purse on the second shelf behind your right shoulder. Could we see that one? Yes. Um, Anita, I had a, um, and I'm, I'm telling Anita because she bought a couple of fur coats from me a couple of years ago, two, three years ago, maybe four years ago. I don't know how many years ago it was, but I had, I showed a, um, I showed a mink coat. It was a mink coat one night. And then I showed an amazing mink stole. It was brown and black. It was so beautiful. And then she, I think she bought one of the coats for her. Um, I think she said her sister. I can't remember. And then I sold a um, silver fox. Oh, hey, Magic AJ. Welcome in. Thanks for making a comment. Yeah, and it was a, a silver silver fox with channels on it. Like channel a channel fox it was so beautiful. It was so so beautiful. Okay, that was lot number 13, 35 dollars to Miss Anita. And I was thinking of you when I was showing them, and I was thinking to myself, if Anita was in the chat, she probably would be bidding. My daughter took one and I have the other. Oh yeah. I was thinking if Anita was here, she would have been bidding on these. Because they were so beautiful, especially the silver fox. The silver fox was awesome. All right, let's do this one. And then I'll do, I'll do the, I don't know. It's not red, but it's brown. But so this one, let me see if this is the damaged one. No. So here's the patchwork one. I love the different colors on it. Now this one's different. It doesn't have um, like the hand tooling like the other ones do. But I love the, the beige with the different color blues. So pretty with a pair of jeans, right? So beautiful. And the whole thing is zippered, which is nice because, you know, no one can, like, reach in and grab your stuff. All right, let me show it to you. All right. There's the inside. And this is a beautiful bag. And there's the bottom.
It's awesome. This one's an awesome bag. I love the colors of it. And let's see, Francine was at 65, Vintage Chick was at 80. Francine came back in at 85. It's all leather cast away. It's this, they're all leather. None of them are suede. It's either it's leather um, or leather with um, the cowhide. Vintage Chick is at 90. Lot number 14. Okay, 80 and then 90 on this one. KJ, how are you, honey? I didn't see you sneak in. Francine is out. Pink cat, let us know, honey. I think I have Vintage Chick for a high bit of 90. No, Penny, you do not, honey. Uh-uh. If you're registered once, you're registered forever. So I'll go look at your registration um, while they decide. And let's see. Let's see, Lisa, if you're here, Tight Lines, um, Gwendolyn, Renee, Cindy, April, Shannon, and Chris. If you guys are here, let me know. I registered yesterday. All right, you guys, if you guys are here, let me know, and I'll give you a wrench. And don't forget, when you're registered here, you're also registered with T because we share the form. Penny, let me go look for your registration. Hold on one second. I'll give you a, um, a wrench. Penny Smith. Penny, I don't have you registered. Um, unless you used a different name for your YouTube name. Your YouTube name is Penny Smith, and that's what you want to register under, is Penny Smith. Uh, oh, I found you. I found you, I found you. Um... But I don't have an address for you. You just put three, you put three dashes for an address. So Penny, you need to fill out your registration again because we need your address. So in order to be able to ship your items. Yes, yeah, so you have to fill in the address part. Um, let's see. Francine came back in at a hundred. Let me know after you fill it out and I'll go look at it. All right, April, I got yours, honey. Let me see, let me give you a wrench. Thank you for being here, April. Because it's a family affair. Where are you? I just saw you. I just saw you on my stream yard and now I don't, oh, there you are, I see you. Okay, April with the April birthday. <laughs> Can we do that one with the cross? Yes, we can. And vintage went out. Yes, it's my sister's fault. Oh, April, it's a nice place to hang out, honey. Well, I, I usually go live on um, Friday nights and I go live on Sunday nights. And um, it's just, it's, it's a fun place to hang out. So, you know, everyone in the chat here is phenomenal. Chris. Oh, Chris, you're here. Hi, Chris. Let me see. Chris, make another comment. I think you have 
Oh, there you are. I see you. All right. Hi, Chris. Chris, sorry if we're boring you with pocketbooks tonight. I don't usually do niche shows where I where I show the same the same thing the whole night, but I wanted to clear this wall because I have a I have an um an idea for tomorrow for tomorrow's wall. So I wanted to I had to fill it because I sold the whole wall and I shipped it out this morning. So I had a I had a blank wall, so I had to fill it. Oh, Penny says she's done. All right, bear with me one minute, you guys, and then I'm going to call this. Um, perfect, Penny. Thank you, sweetheart. I got you. Let me give you a wrench. And welcome to the family, you guys. Everybody, welcome in the newbies. All right, Francine's at 100. We're going to go once. We're going to go twice. And uh, fair, fair warning, Gypsy, where are you? Come here. And we're going to be sold, sold, sold. Down a request for the red purse on the second shelf. Come here, baby girl. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, she's hiding from me. All right. Is it this one? This one here? Is it this one that you guys are asking for? It's not red. Congratulations, Francine. All right, let me mark Francine's purse. And that's so beautiful. Francine, this is so beautiful. Oh, my gosh. You are going to get so much use out of this. Thank you, everyone that bid on it. But holy cow, I bet you'll get a ton of compliments on this purse. It is so beautiful. Is it for you? Are you keeping it? Yeah, my lighting made it red, right? Yeah, it's like a tannish, um, it's like a red, it's like a brown red leather. All right, hold on. Let me let me write this down. Francine and uh, Francine, that was lot number 14. 100 for the purse. All right, let me put this in here for Francine. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, I don't know. Did you see this, Francine? It has the back pocket, too, which is so awesome. Yes, a present for myself. Good you go, girl. Oh, my gosh. Good for you, honey. All right, let's look at this one. This is heavily studded, heavily studded. Who was it that liked the studded stuff? Oh, yeah, it was Francine. <laughs> it was Francine that likes the studded stuff. <laughs> Note to Donna. Note to self. Call Uncle David. <laughs> Yes, Thor was a stud. <laughs> probably Christopher. Christopher, where are you? Somebody wake up, Christopher. You probably fell asleep on the, on the recliner. Christopher, wake up. Christopher, are you outside looking at those stars that, that um, Rachel bought you? Did you guys know about that? Rachel bought Christopher um, and his mom stars she got stars she named oh no not you chris k i'm talking christopher mr i buy jit he isn't here where is that man he left don't yell at him he will fall off the pole <laughs> he must be somewhere else okay this is the red one that everybody was saying look like red but it's really like a reddish tan there's the bottom. I just got whacked in the face. It's got a pocket in the back. And let's look at the inside. Yeah, stars. Yeah. Oh, where is Billy? Where is that Billy boy? He's not here either. Okay, we're going to look at the inside of that. Let me just lower this. I love it when Billy's in the chat. 
he's a, he's he's fun. All right. And there you have it. It is brown. No, none of them are, none of them are, um, the only red one and look at, see the leather, it needs to shiny, it needs to relax. The leather needs to relax. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful bag. Uh, mm, no, there's none of them are red. They're browns. They're all browns. Browns and blacks and all right, let's see where we're at. Liz is at forty five. Give it Xanax. Give what Xanax? Donna, bring the red purse out for Valentine's Day. There's no red purse. That's some uptight leather, just saying. What do you mean uptight leather? It's all hand tooled. Did you see it? Look how beautiful that is. Oh, give it Xanax to relax. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry. I'm missing all the jokes tonight. Sorry, I'm missing all the jokes. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It looks so pretty on the camera, doesn't it? I mean, it's pretty in person too, but it looks beautiful on camera. Sherry's at 50. Liz is out. Are you feeding Gypsy? Yeah. Um, what? Because she's going to have to go out. Is the small one in the center behind you a wristlet? Um, I don't think any of them are wristlets. Oh, that that one there is a cosmetic bag. I'll bring that one. Okay. Are we done with this one? We're going to go once. This is lot number 15. And we're going to go twice. And who has the high bid on it? Cherry has it for 50. And with a fair warning... We're going to be sold, sold, sold to Miss Sherry. And it is lot number 15 for 50. All right. You, you, you'll be pleased. Since you don't have red, could you show the black ones? Yes, Cece. Absolutely, honey. I'm going to show them. All right. Let's put this away. And I think there was a request for this one. I'm going to bring this one next. This one I told you was uh, the girls were admiring this. They said, what did, Chessie, what did you say this was? It was, she said it's uh, Y2K is popular again. And this is like a, a Y2K purse with the Celtic cross on it. 
Is that what you said, Chaz? Chaz? Um, what did what did you say? Y two K with the Celtic? Like, just like a two thousand style. It's a two thousand style. And they said that that was like trending right now. Yeah. Yeah. And let's see. Let's see where it says American West on it. Might be just really, really faint. Polly says 100%. It's there, but you see how faint it is? I don't know why some of them, but don't forget it's, um, oh, this one has a tag on it. See, I don't know if this one ever made it out of production. All right. You guys remember the Levenger purses that I bought, that I got? They were the, um, those were all the sample ones too, those Levenger ones. Oh my God, they were so beautiful. Yeah, Folly, that's where these came from. These, all these purses came from, uh, it was, she was uh, like a production executive and she helped with the design of the purses and deciding which ones actually went into um, production or not. So that's why I was saying some of these you may find on eBay and some of them are one of a kind. You will not find them on, on eBay because some of them didn't make it into production. This one has the side pockets. This is like cowgirl straight up, right? Such a cowgirl bag. And look at the hand tooling on that. The money they must have spent to have these made is crazy. All this work on it. Cindy says measurements, please. Width and height. Here, I'll give you the official measurement of the auction. Right? Talent, Patricia. That's the official measurement of the auction. It's this big. I'm just saying I have a pretty big head. Okay. So from the top of the buckles to the bottom of the, the purse, it's 12 inches. And then from one side to the other is approximately 15 inches. I'm going to see the inside again. Okay. There's the inside. It's got a pocket here and a pocket here and a zippered pocket there. And then it's got pockets on either side and no pocket in the back. And that's it. And that's this purse. It's beautiful. She's a beauty. If I can get her to stand up. Let's put something behind it. It's not going to stand up. It would sure be fun if my pocketbooks were shipped tomorrow. Hint, hint. Okay, vintage check. I'll ship them tomorrow. Yeah, no, you don't have a big head, Donna. Kind of do, to be honest with you. I have, I have kind of a big head and a really long neck. You see how long my neck is? It's like a giraffe's neck, and really long arms. When I was younger, I could never find um, a jacket or sweaters that like would go all the way down to my 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 wrist they were always too short i used to have to always pull them down 
I'm not a snob. I'm not a snob. All right. Let's see. Carrie is out. Liz is at 60. Are we done and done? We're going to go once. And I don't know what you're talking about, farm girl. Noel. Oh, Jayski comes in at 65. Did she lock you out? Did she? Liz comes in at 70. And this is lot number 16. Furthest person from a snob. Th thank you. Jayski is out. I found a red coach matching wallet and a purse at the bins once. Was sorry to see them go. Such quality. What do you mean sorry to see them go? Why didn't you why didn't you put them in your cart? Do you swing your arms when you walk? I don't know if I do or not. We're going twice. And we are going to be sold, sold, sold. Oh, you sold them. I've sold a lot of things that I regret. Um, let's see, Liz. Liz is at 70. Thank you, Liz. Congratulations, honey. Seventy dollars for the Celtic purse. All right. What number sixteen goes to Liz? All right. We almost got the wall cleared. No. We're not going to bed till the wall is cleared. I'm joking. I might not be able to clear it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how far I can get. All right. Who wants to see what? What was the other special request? about we do this little this is a cosmetic case hi Angela hope you had a nice Christmas too flipping hot finds as a wallet okay this one let's do this one first this is a plastic lined it's got it's got some pockets in it let me show you. Oh, I'll do the black ones. Okay. You see, it's all lined in plastic. Can you see my my hand in there? So the whole the whole thing is lined in plastic, so it stays nice and clean, nice quality, and it's a kind of southwestern styled. Uh, thank you, Angela. They're beautiful, right? And look at the back of it. Are you kidding how beautiful that is? It's gorgeous. Oops. We froze. Hold on. Give it one minute, guys, and it will come back. There it goes. How beautiful. Yes, it's a makeup bag, Denise. Mm-hmm. And it's a um this is like a uh, like a gray blue color. It's like a gray blue color. Pam comes in at 10. 
Sherry's at 20. I mean, it could be used also as a, as a purse. I mean, why couldn't you like maybe tie this or put your own, you know, if you found a nice leather bracelet or even like, um, um, like a um, nylon one and put it on that ring and then you could use this as a, as a wristlet. Yeah. Denise is at 26. Good night, Melissa. All right, Melissa. Thank you, honey. Send me updates. I really want to know what's going on and I want to see pictures. Anita's at 30. Right, Gregory? The craftsmanship is amazing. I don't know how they could afford to pay these people to do this work. I just don't. All right. I think we have a high bid of 30 from Anita. And I think we're going to close it down. Sherry's out and Denise is out. So we're going to, we're going to go once. Whoopsie. We're going to go once. We're going to go twice and with the fair warning, we're going to be sold, sold, sold. How long have these been in my possession? That's, that's, that's a really personal question. Congratulations, Anita. <laughs> so I buy things and I, I I have things like stowed away. Like what, how long have I had the stamps and the all of the clothes and the shoes that I haven't even shown you guys yet? I'm joking, vintage chick. Guys, when was that last purchase that truckload of fabric and stamps and crafts and stuff that I bought? May. That was May. That was May. Squirreled away. <laughs> Death piles are real. Wait, Anita, how much did you pay for this? Was it 30? I'm not a pack rat. Everything's nice and organized. Hold on. I got to look and see what she paid. Yeah, 30. Beginning of the summer. Yeah, it was May. It was May because I remember um, that's when Elaine's, Elaine was at the storage unit with me building mystery boxes. And that's when her, her husband relapsed. When she was down there, she got the call for her that she needed to go home. Um, so, yeah, I, it was May. May and now we're in almost December so six months I've been holding on to that merchandise I've been selling it though you know dribs and drabs but I still have so much to show you guys but you know I don't usually do like these kind of shows where I do all the same thing because a lot of people get bored you know if you're not into purses like Look, look at, there's 120 people in the chat, and I'm so grateful for the 120 people that are in the chat tonight. But, like, for example, the other night when I was showing a mixture of all kinds of stuff, remember how many people came in and stayed? But when people see that it's just purses, like, a lot of people don't care about purses, so they leave. And, and I really don't care about that because I want the people that are interested in purses to stay. Um but yeah, that's the problem with doing like a niche show where you're doing like just, you know, jewelry or just this one is amazing. This one is absolutely beautiful. Um, this one looks like it was used maybe because it has a little bit of dirt on the bottom of it. Let me see. 
This one, oh, and guess what? Find a penny, pick it up, and all day long you'll have good luck. So I'm going to put it back in the purse because it belongs there. Oh, let me see what else is in here. A toothpick. Make sure there's nothing else that's bad in here. You never know. I don't want to be shipping stuff with a little receipt piece of paper. And that's it. I gotta check these pockets. Thor, is that you? Is Thor in the chat? Use that penny to scratch off a ticket. Look at how beautiful this is. We're gonna check these two front pockets though. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the hardware on that. I hope so. I hope there's a roll of cash. There's nothing in there. I know I'm going to leave the penny cast away, girl. I am. I promise you. The penny stays with the purse. And there's nothing in there. And this is why I thought maybe it was uh, that thread is loose. There's a little bit of dirt right there. Probably, probably nothing that a little um, wipey can't get off. And it looks like it's got a little bit of wear right there. Okay, see me, I will. I promise I'll do that next. It's got the names on the hardware, and I'll tell you how big it is. It is across the bottom approximately 15 inches, and then from top to bottom, it's 7 inches. And I'll show you the inside. First, I'll show you the tooling on it. It's beautiful. Yes, it's got... It's got pockets for two phones, one breakaway phone or whatever they're called, beater phones or breakaway phones. What are they called? What are they called when people have two phones? Oh, and look at it. It opens up. Oh, no, it doesn't. I was going to say it opens up really big, but it's a foamy zipper that it goes all the way over there. I thought maybe the whole thing opened up. All right, so there you have it. It's beautiful. Burner phone. Oh, thank you. Yes, that's what it's called. <laughs> Breakaway phone. Okay, this is for the black purse. Drug. It's a drug dealer's pocketbook. Espionage. Gun runners. All right. Is there nobody interested in this one? It's eleven fifty-two. You will have luck for eight minutes. Oh, why? Because it only lasts the day you find it. All right. Denise comes in at thirty, and Follies come in at thirty-five. And I'm turning into a pumpkin. See you all. Good night, castaway girl. All right. Sherry and Denise, let me know what you think. Gregory gets in on the mix, 37. Thank you, Gregory. Burberry? Why, why is Pink Hot Polish saying Burberry? No, they're all, Sherry comes in at 40. No, they're all American, American West is the name on them. I don't think this is Burberry style at all. Burberry is so conservative. All 
All right, Sherry's at 40. I don't know. Out on this one, Folly says, thank you, dear. And Gregory, what about you? Do you want to go to 42 or Sherry? Gregory wants to go to 42. Judy says, it sure is pretty. It is pretty. It's beautiful. And let me show you on camera how it looks. Sherry's out. It's got nice big shoulder straps. Flippin' Hot Express comes in at 45. Donna Background Background TV copyright. What copyright? You can hear the TV? You can hear a TV. Patricia's at 48. Is that what you're saying? Gregory is out. Thank you, Gregory, for your beds. KK, can you hear the TV? I can't even hear the TV. We've got Patricia at 48. Oh, you can? I think you're lagging. Who's lagging? I can't be lagging. I'm live. I hear something. I'm not sure if it's the TV. Let me see. I don't hear anything. Can you, can you lower that? Yeah. She's got her headphones on. <sighs> Do you still hear it? Oh, I meant burner, not Burberry. <laughs> Autocorrect. You hear it? Do you still hear it? I just had her lower it. She's watching um, Friends. Come here, little girl. Come over here. No, you don't hear it? No? Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, she was watching Friends on her TV. Isn't that funny that she's watching Friends? She's like binge watching Friends. All right, let me see. Um, Flipping Hot Mess is it? 50. No more noise. Okay, good. All right. Let's go once. Oh, you still hear it? We're going to go twice. And fair warning. And we are going to be sold, sold, sold. To Flippin' Hot Mess Express. Denise says, I love Friends. I never watched it. For 50. All right. Tell me which one you wanted me to show now. And that was lot number 18 for $50. The brown fringe one. Okay. All right. Simi's been asking for one. Which one has she been asking for? Is that the one that she wanted to, to see also? Lot 18, $50. Yes. Perfect. All right, this one. 
beautiful. Looks like it has a couple of marks on it. I don't know if it's just from the way it was stowed away. And I don't see the American, it's on the hardware, but I don't see it inside. Donna, what was my lot number for the patchwork bag? I did not pay yet until the end. These are so many beautiful ones. It was um, Francine. It was number 14, honey. Number 14. Oh, thanks, Vintage Check. All right, let me... Um, Let me show you this one. So it has it on the hardware right there, American West, but I don't see it written anywhere else. And this is what I was talking about. See this? I don't know if that's a defect in the leather and it's not written. Usually it's written on the pocket. It's not written on the pocket. It doesn't say it. So maybe this is one that didn't didn't go the, all the way to production. It's got a nice big pocket in the front. And it has, I mean, it might just be, you know, they're leather. So, you know, leather has, but the when you close the flap, of course, it's beautiful. You don't see it. And look, this is, it's got some damage that should be in that hole. So buyer beware on this one. It's a beautiful leather bag, but it has a couple of issues, but I still think it's worth, I mean, if you're buying it for resale, I would say don't buy it if you're buying it for personal use then I think it's beautiful just because it has this issue on it and it has this issue on it so yeah buyer beware on this one Carry is out. Simi's out. Vintage check. You you saw the um, damage on it, right? We're on these purses age and character well, like the patina, right, Patricia? Yes. Don, is there a black and brown combo on the bottom shelf on your left? Um, yes, there is. Sherry's at 42. Yeah, vintage chick is out. Sherry, you saw the damage, right? Just let me know. Make sure in the chat. Lot number nineteen, fringe purse. Yes. Sherry, let me know in the chat if you're okay with that. Yes, okay. Just wanted to make sure. Because sometimes people go out and then they come back in, and I just wanted to make sure that you saw that it had a couple of little imperfections on it. Going twice. And yes, it has been purses all night. I did an all purse night and we are sold to Sherry. For 42. Yes, we've sold some really beautiful ones. I still have beautiful ones left. And that was lot number 19.
All right. I'll get that brown and black one for you next. And this, I think, might be my last one, you guys. I'll come back tomorrow and I'll do more. I'll mix them in. Because it is at 12 o'clock. And this is beautiful. Let me show you. Patricia, not going in before sold. Stop. Not sold. Oh, Patricia came in at... Yeah, but she came in at 43. Patricia needed to come in at 44. See me? Did, good night, Donna and everyone. See me, did I show the purse that you wanted? Donna, Patricia came in but needs $2 increments. Donna, it's not sold. See me says, hello, Denali. Thanks, honey. Did Patricia not know that we needed $2 increments? I don't want to be not fair to um, Sherry. You can do 44 and I can retract the sold. She'll bow out. Okay. <laughs> Thank God. She's like, I still need, I still need a bag to go with my wallet. Not leave until I get one. <laughs> She's like, no. Sherry, you're so sweet. I think she's gonna bow out. You guys, you guys work it out for yourselves. Okay, we're sold. All right. All right, here it is. That's the front. This is the back. And waiting on a wallet, Pam says. <laughs> Pam, I'm tired. I'm tired, honey. Look how beautiful this is. Is this absolutely stunning? I can't come back tomorrow, Pink Cat Polish says. Oh, no. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh, it reminds me of like one of those Western shirts, doesn't it? So this is like, like a gray, green, black, and then the brown with all that beautiful studded work. And then here's the back of it. Reminds me of a saddle, right, Folly? It's true. And then here's the inside. I'll be here tomorrow to scoop up all the wallets because no one can come tomorrow. And there you have your tag on it. Isn't it beautiful? It's stunning. Donna, can you please show the cowhide one in the center, right, with the wallet that matches on the shelf up above on the far right, please. <laughs> no type of tantrum here. <laughs> Carrie, I can come to what time? <laughs> Is there a pocket on the back, CC? Yes, there is. Did I show the purse that Simi wanted to, to see? She kept asking for a purse. I don't know which one she wanted to see. I hope Simi didn't leave mad. Did I not show the purse she wanted? I tried to show any request. Yes, I did. Okay, good. It was the fringe one, right? Is that the one that she wanted to see?
All right. Denise came in at 31st. I'm on purse burnout. I know. Me too, Heather. It was damaged. Yes, Carrie. It was, honey. I'm sorry that it was damaged. Oh, you should have had all your horse people come here, Dawn. I really wanted a tote from the left. All right. All right, I'll keep showing. I'll keep showing, but don't. I don't want to hear anybody yelling at me tomorrow if I didn't get your orders out. I'll do my best to get as many orders as possible out. I'll stay on. I love staying on with you guys. All right, this is lot number 20. And CC's at 60. They would love these. No kidding. The horse people, absolutely they would love them. No yelling, Donatella. All right, Pam. Oh, uh, thank you, Denise. Who was the one that threatened me that I had to get their order out tomorrow? I have to make sure I didn't write that down. Was Who was it? Was it Castaway? No. Was it... Vintage chick? Who who was yelling at me earlier? <laughs> I can't remember. Hi, Michelle P. Oh, thank you. Tis the season to be silly. <laughs> who was it? Oh, it was Vintage Chick. All right, I got to write that down. And she wants her order to go out tomorrow. Vintage Chick. I'll put a check mark next to her name. I don't want to be on her poo-poo list. She bought two purses. All right. Nothing worse than being on someone's poo-poo list. It happens, you guys. It happens. I sometimes get on people's poo-poo list. And then I have to try to get off the poo-poo list. No, I don't have lots of elves working for me, and Dawn's not working for me tomorrow. And I thought the girls would be helping me more while they were on their um, their their break, but they're not it, because all of their friends are home from college. So every day they're running off to the beach and you know running off and doing stuff because all of their girlfriends that went away to college are all home, their girlfriends and their boyfriends. So every day they're like making friends with their friends, you know, because they don't see them. So they're young, you know, I, I understand. I get it. I know. Get your whip out and have your daughters work. I just, yeah, they, they're just right now, right now they're just busy enjoying life. And usually Massimo's helping me, but. Lola's on break from college, so he's been spending a lot of time with Lola. All right. Are we done with this one? We're going to go once. Let's see who the high bidder is. I don't even know because of the chit-chat. Cece is at 70. Yeah, I know. They're really not into it. They're really not into it at all. And we're going to go twice. No one in my family is. you got to remember what it's like to be a kid and let them be kids as long as you can. That's my motto, exactly. My son is the same way. If he would just help for one hour, I could knock out so much. I know. Not sork, work. <laughs> or are you calling him a dork? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> They're warning. They're adults, though. Yeah, 19 and 20. But Angelina works. Angelina has um, a part-time job working at the hair salon. So she works two days a week. And we're sold to Cece. Thank you, Carol. For 70. And Chesie helps me, you know, she's, she's like, she's really good. Like today I packed that 
box from the whole wall and um I couldn't lift it. It was so heavy. I mean, it was like 38 pounds, I think. So she carried it out for me. So, I mean, they're, they're good at helping me with stuff like that. They're good for like when I need to go to the storage unit, I'll bring them with me and they'll help me. Yeah. Chez helps a lot. And, um, Angelina, Angelina helps too with keeping, keeping the cottage clean. She's really good about sweeping all the time and, you know, keeping the bathrooms cleaned and her thing is cleaning. She's like my mother-in-law. She loves to clean, loves to clean. Like if I said to her, will you help me ship some orders? She'll say, can I mop the floors instead or like clean the kitchen instead? And you know, that stuff is that stuff is really important too. Carol, that was lot number 20, sweetheart. You know, to keep it clean. And like I told her, um, uh, T and Robbie are planning on, is that the tote that you want? The, the big one? Let me see. Is that what you want me to run? That big one? Um, T and Robbie are going to be here, I think, next week. So, yeah, Carrie, she's, she's unbelievable. Well, hello. Look who's here to visit. Well, hello. Do you have to go potty? Do you have to go peeps? Do you? Do you have to go peeps? Um, is this the one that's, yeah, this is the one that's damaged. All right. I might have to like, let you guys just talk amongst each other and take her out. Um, it sounds like she has to go peeps. Um, this is the one that's damaged. It looks like it was leaning up against something that was blue. So it looks like, all right, I'm going to take you out. Let me put this on the table and then you guys can decide. I mean, it still has like the little silica gel thing inside of it. I think it just got damaged from maybe being stowed away. Hold on, Gypsy. I'm going to take you. But it's really pretty and it has that turquoise. But no one's going to see the bottom. It's still beautiful. It's still all leather. It's all hand tooled. But I'm going to thank you, Carol. Um. I'm going to put this here for those of you that want to see Gypsy, and then I'll put it on the table. She doesn't want me to pick her up. Here, you want this? Here. Come here. She doesn't want me to get her. She's like running from me. She's under the chair. She's under her timeout chair. All right, I'm going to take you out in one minute. She doesn't want me to, um, yeah, she has to go peepees. I'm going to go take her out. I'm going to put this here and I'm going to let you guys just talk amongst each other and you can look at it. Just buyer beware. It does have that little imperfection, but the inside of it looks beautiful. And there it is. It's a beautiful big tote. Great for a computer. So if that, if that little blemish on the bottom doesn't bother you, them. All right, you guys, I'll be right back. Let me just run out and uh, take her out. It'll, it'll be quick.
Okay, did you miss me? It's so beautiful outside. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. All right, what do we have here? We have pink hat polish for 55. All right. No, you didn't miss me. <laughs> That's a long pee, right? Took her forever. She wanted to go for a walk. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful out. It's gorgeous. It's 67 degrees out, but it's so beautiful. All right, what number 21? Bali comes in at 60. Let's see, I had a day of sold yesterday on eBay and then they started canceling after I had shipped them. I was, how is that possible? How can they cancel them? That's strange. Did, did you bring them to the post office? Stop. Go over there. Go over there. 65 to pink cap polish. Donna, I want the two on the top shelf, brown and black. Oh, the two on the very top shelves behind me. I didn't know that was possible either. Can I see the back again? Sure. There you go. You only have to register once when Donna sees you. She will give you a wrench. Cindy Wright. Let me put it on full screen. All right, let me see. Um, who am I looking for? I'm looking for Cindy Wright. Um, when did you register, Cindy? Thank you for your registration and welcome. Let me see if it's populated in. Oh, she didn't. Okay. All right. So I don't need to look then. All right. Is everybody out? Oh, you did, Cindy, a couple of weeks ago? Okay, let me see. Cindy. Hold on. Cindy Wright. Yes, I have your registration, Cindy. Thank you. And there's your wrench. All right. All right. Should we call it down to pink hat polish? We're going to go once. And we're going to go twice. Heather, stop causing problems in the chat, Heather. I'm joking, sweetheart. And with a fair warning. We're going to be sold. Sold, sold, sold. The pink hat polish, she got her purse. Thank you, pink hat. For 65. And that is lot number 21.
right Polly it's a nice big tote it's definitely a nice big tote it's huge it's huge inside it's a it's enormous lot number 21 lot number 21 on this one and let's see I think KK wanted to see this one. This is beautiful. Oh, I could tell that this one smelled amazing. All right, let me show you this. This is not number 22. It's beautiful. And it's got two divided pockets on the back. All right, now let me show it to you. I have 12 and 21. You have, yep, 12 is the wallet and 21 is the purse, correct. And there's the back of it. There's the bottom of it. There's the front of it. And there's the inside of it. It's got two pockets inside on that side and a zippered pocket. And then it zips up. They're all brand new. Well, except for the one. They're all brand new. These were all, they were all prototypes. Beautiful. Yes, they're all American Western. Yep, all of them. Yep. And Denise is at 40. KK is out. And is there anybody else? Vintage Chick, let us know if you're in or out, honey. How long is the shop? Um, it is, let me show you. It's this long. And it has little American Western on it. It's um it extend it's got it's got an extender on it. It goes to like one more dot. So it's I'm I'm five seven. Oops. Let me do it this way. That's how long it is. And we've got Vintage Chick at 47. That's beautiful. Denise is out. So we're going to go once to Vintage Chick. Is everybody else out? Folly. Just waiting on Folly. Sorry, Folly. Let me know if you're in or out.
Ball is out. We're going to go twice. And fair warning, everyone. And we're going to be sold, 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 sold to Vintage Chick for the purse for $47. Okay. Is there one more that you want me to show before I call it a night, you guys? Honestly. This lot number 22. To folly. I mean, uh, vintage chick. Um, lot number 22, honey. Oh, gypsy. You okay? Was that a cough? Sounded like you were choking there for a minute. Are you all right? What was that? Hmm? Here, let's do this one here. And this will be truly my final one. And I'll bring more tomorrow night. This is a dark brown and it has the fur trim on the bottom. But let me look at that fur trim because I just... Um, you go to bed and show the rest tomorrow, Donna. You need to, the rest, my friend. Yeah, I, I had a really crazy day today. Um, I don't know. Let's look at this closely on the camera and see if we can figure out what's going on with that. I don't know what's going on with that. What is it? It looks like the fur is... Looks like the fur is missing. See it on there and on there. It looks like some of the fur is uh, is coming off on it. It looks damaged. It looks damaged on the bottom. But if you're buying this, if you love it and you want it for personal use, I'm still gonna run it. What I would do is I would take a brown marker and I would fill in where you see the rawhide. It's not missing. That's how cowhide is. Yeah, I would just fill it in. I mean, I think it's still it's it's still beautiful. The other ones the other ones weren't um, the other ones didn't have any missing. Um. T will be on, I think, in the morning. I'll be on tomorrow night. I won't be on in the morning. I have shipping to do. So I would I would probably take a, a brown marker and fill that in. If it bothers you. So, I mean, the rest of the purse is in excellent condition. It's beautiful. It's leather. It's, you know, American no. Oh, what is that? I just took you out. But that's what I would do with that purse if you want to buy it for personal use. But for reselling, I don't know. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't buy it for reselling. C. Johnson says, no, no marker. What would you do? What would you do for these little areas that are missing the, um, the fur? Would you just leave it? I mean, if it was me and I was using this purse, that wouldn't bother me at all. But for some people, it may bother them. I'd resell that in a heartbeat. It's beautiful. And this is like much longer hair than the other ones. You see how long the hair is on this? Maybe it's a different kind of hair than the cow because do you see how long it is good night heather thank you so much honey for all your help you would leave it it isn't damaged pam says all right well you guys decide 
If somebody wants it, just throw a number in the chat. We're going to do it as a countdown. We're going to do it as a countdown. The last purse, to, purse of the Highland cow. Oh, D, you're still here, honey? Trust me, Donna, it's cowhide. What is my name? Bomb girl scavenger. As soon as I see a number in the chat, I'm going to count it down 15 to 1, and whoever has the highest bid is going to get it. And Sherry's at 30. I didn't see Sherry. Oh, there she is. All right, ready? I'm counting it down. 15, 14. Sandra, where you been all night? I've been showing all kinds of beautiful purses. 15, 14, 13, 12. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, yes, Heather, 4, 3, 2, 1, and we're going to be sold. We're going to be sold, 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 sold. And it's curly, too. Ooh, Sherry comes in at 40. Sherry gets it for 40. Thank you, Sherry. All right, let's do this as a countdown. Let's do some countdowns. Let's make it fun. The last few. I'm at I'm at lot number uh, 23, 24, 25. Let's do two more. We'll do the missed countdowns. All right, let me put the tag on this one. Sherry V, lot number 23. Sherry V for lot number 23. Cow is what I called it. All right, ready? Pink cat's like, I'm in. All right. First, I'm going to do this one. All right. It's an eyeglass case. Hold on. Let me put this on. This one is an eyeglass case. Look at that. Isn't that so cool? It's padded. And it's beautiful. Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one, and we're going to be sold. We're going to be sold, sold, sold for the eyeglass case. Lot number 24. And Denise gets it. For 21. Congratulations, Denise. Lot number 24 for 21. Okay. Make sure I took my glasses out so I don't send you my glasses. And how about we do this wallet? Donna heals you. What are you talking about? So it's got a nice big change purse. I'm going to count it down as soon as I see a bid in the chat. And then it has another compartment here. And then, oh, beautiful, 
beautiful 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 and then it has an outside compartment there isn't that so pretty hi gypsy and that's it it's so it's got two it's got two compartments it's got one and two for your money for your dollar bills so this is going to go to somebody that has a lot of money and a lot of credit it is a big wallet isn't it 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 three two one and it's sold no that's for credit cards that's not for pictures that's all for credit cards you know what these are going to be obsolete these are going to be like collectibles these wallets because you know what like i don't know about you guys but are you guys using your your wallet on your phone where your credit cards are right in your wallet you know like like your like apple pay like i have apple pay and it's so easy and then you can share it with your family like all my kids have my apple pay so like i don't have to worry about like you know transferring money into their accounts anymore or them losing their debit cards anymore because i just they're just in my apple pay and they have the apple pay on their phone so you just hold the phone up to the device and you double click it boom done then moselle i know all of them right all right who got this Mm, KK for 40. KK, did you get your big, big box of goodies yet? Yeah, it's unbelievable how your wallet holds everything on your phone. But... They don't ask for IDs or anything, you know, so anybody can just, if they find your phone, well, mine, my phone is, um, it's password protected and all of my apps are face rec recognition. So no one can really access any of my information unless my face is in my phone. to sneak it into the house <laughs> yeah face id right exactly let's do i'm gonna do this one as a 15 second countdown o m g i had my phone stolen last may at an estate sale, yes, they can, Donna. Don't fool yourself. With my face, how are they going to do that? With an iPhone? They can't get into any of my banking apps or credit cards or my wallet without my um without my without my um my face. This is gorgeous. Look at how beautiful this is. The cow one. And this one says Force 10 Incorporated Sample. It has a tag on it. It's a sample on it. I'll give you a close-up of it. As soon as I see a bid, thank you, Sherry. As soon as I see a bid in the chat, I'm going to count it down. 15 to 1, make sure you're freshed. Make sure you're refreshed. Isn't this beautiful? Thank you, KK. It's so beautiful. Look at how gorgeous that is. I'll show you the inside. Absolutely beautiful. 15, 14, 13, 12, and has a back pocket. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 
six, five, four, three, two, one. And the beautiful cow purse is going to be sold, sold, sold. Lot number 26. Ooh, pink cat polish snuck in for 70. She really wanted it. All right. Let me just make a slip for it real quick. That was lot number 26. Right? They're so beautiful. All right. I'm going to do one more. Seriously. It opens on the phone. My cats would attack that, LaDonna says. All right. I'm going to do this one. This is amazing. Now, the fringe on this, probably because it was laying on another purse, needs to get flattened out. What's the best way to flatten that out? Just put something on it. I don't know, maybe a maybe a warm iron. I don't know. I hate to suggest that. I hate to suggest that. Hi, Laurie. A little steam. I'm going to do it as a countdown. Look at we've almost got the whole back cleared out. I cannot look away. A little steam. and lay it on its side. I'm gonna show you how beautiful it is. As soon as I see a number in the chat, I'm gonna count it down. This is the last purse of the night. Let me show you how beautiful it is. Look at the work on that. It's gorgeous. There's the hardware. There's the fringe that needs to lay down. You gotta lay it down somehow. You gotta figure it out. You gotta figure it out. You gotta figure it out. Oh, it's one of those uh, concealed ones <clears throat> with the pocket <clears throat> in the back. Uh oh, is the zipper broken? Hold on, let me check. It looks like the zipper's broken. Hold on. It looks like it looks like it is. The zipper's broken. Wah, wah, wah. This is the first one that we've come across. You see how it's split here? So I don't know. You can retract. You're going to have to. Um, this side seems like it's okay. Yes, this side is fine. But this side, I don't know how. I don't know how to fix zippers that, that do that. I have no idea. So I don't know how to fix that. I'm sorry. See, it looks like there's a tooth crooked right there. I know it is a bummer. Oh, well, what can you do? I'm not going to do it. If somebody wants to buy it and they want to do it, they can try to fix it. I'm not going to try to fix it. I'll show you the inside of it. But just know that you're buying a purse that needs attention. And you can retract if you want. And this is what I'm going to do just in case somebody's lagging or coming in at the last minute. Hold on, let me put this like this. So this purse has an issue with the fringe. Has an issue. Thank you, Francine. 
So I'm gonna write, I'm gonna write in the chat start. Okay, and after that start, any price that I see after that, I want you to know that it is a purse that has um, issues on it. Okay, so you can uh, put the number, if anybody put a number in before, I'm going to disregard it. I'm only going to accept anything that's after the start. Folly comes in at 10, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and we're going to be sold. We're going to be sold, sold, sold. Run a, a graphite pen. Pencil over the zipper. Oh, hmm. And lot number 27 is sold to the Follies. The Follies don't care. She loves it. She's going to fix it. Thank you, Renee. All right. I have a big favor to ask. Um, if anybody bought a purse tonight, if you're still here and you bought a purse and you have cottage cash, could you help out a girl, please? And uh, just send me an email and tell me or a text message and just say that you have cottage cash. Um, some of you that, that have cottage cash told me and I wrote it down on my slip. So um, I'm behind on my paperwork like big time. And I sold cottage cash the other night and I haven't updated it all. So I need to, um, I need to update that. And it will, it will really help me tomorrow morning um, when I go to get my orders out um, that you have cottage cash. What's vintage chick sending me? Let me see. Oh, thank you, Vintage Chick. You're so sweet. Appreciate it. Thank you. You'll be the first one I send out tomorrow. <laughs> oh, you did, Laurie. Awesome. Yay! You'll have to put that on Bolo Buddies next month or whenever she does her next um, her next um, look what's sold on um, eBay auctions or something. I think she's going to do that once in a while. Thank you, Vintage Chick. I appreciate it. Okay. All right, you guys. I'll be back on tomorrow night. Watch for T's stream. She might be coming on tomorrow morning. She says she might come on in the morning and do a couple of quick hours um, and sell some stuff. And she talked about it when she was here earlier. She's probably falling asleep at this point. It's one o'clock in the morning. Donna, do you remember I bought mink off you? Um... Which mink? One mink went to Jay, and the other mink went to um, brand new customer. Oh, four years ago. Oh, my gosh. KK, you just had me nervous because I just sold two minks, and I'm like, you didn't buy either one of the minks. KK, don't do that to me at 1 o'clock in the morning. Oh my God, <laughs> I've got enough on my mind. Oh my God, I'm gonna, KK, I'm gonna kill you. I was just like thinking to myself, oh my God, did I don't confuse her? It's late, I know. Do you remember I bought a mink four years ago? <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> uh. <laughs> KK. <laughs> No, but I'll look. Thank you. I will look. Thank you for your payments, you guys. I appreciate your payments. And um, oh, 
Okay. All right. That's fine, Folly. Um, all right. So thank you, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow night. Tomorrow night I'll do I'll do a mix of stuff. I'll do some purses, but I'll I'll also do a mix of stuff. All right. Back when I made purses. Mm, I don't remember. I'm sorry, honey. I've sold so many things from four years ago to now, but thank you everyone. Sweet dreams. Thank you everyone for coming in and we'll see you tomorrow. Love you too. Thank you. Buonanotte. Thank you so much.